Hi guys, this is Carrie from The Creative Accent. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use the canvas views in my new website template, Alice and Vine. So uh, canvas views are a great way to organize a lot of different information in a concise way that feels interactive to the user. You'll find canvas views on the About page. That's where I am right now. Also, if I click over to the coaching slash services page, if you scroll down, you'll find information set up for the Canvas views, as well as the workshops page. So if I click on see all details, you can organize the details for your workshops in Canvas views as well. So what I just showed you was how it's actually going to look live. So when your website is up and running, that's how the canvas views will function and how they will look. Now let's take a moment and look behind the scenes. So I'm on the about page. Now for this example, I'm just going to duplicate this page. So here you see to the left, I have all the different pages that are included in this template. For this example, I'm just going to duplicate this page and call it tutorial. Okay, now if I click over, now I'm under the site tab, but let's click over to page and now we'll see all the different um, canvases that are included in this page. So you got your header, you have the hero image, you have the story, and on and on. On the left, you'll see how your website's going to look on a mobile device, and on the right, you'll see how it looks on the desktop. So let's go into the canvas views. This is going to be under approach. So directly under, you have a short um, little about with a nice photo, and then you have our approach. Now you can tweak this however you need to for your brand, but just for this example, I want to show you how you can edit these. So changing the text, changing the photos, and adding more, adding less, whatever you need for your business. So if you look here to the left, you'll see how these are organized. There are some aspects that are not within a view. So here you see view one. If I click view two, you'll see that the elements on the right change, and so on and so forth. Now some aspects are outside of the view, meaning that they're not going to change, they're going to stay the same for, for every view. And that is this line that separates, you see it highlighted here on the desktop version, the title, our approach, which of course you can change. Another line, that's the line down the middle here. And then the see next and the arrow, which are only visible on the mobile version right here. So you can see there's a tiny little icon next to each element and you can decide if something is going to be, be visible on both the mobile and the desktop version or only one or the other. So the canvas views on the about page are great for showing a lot of information in a concise way that's not going to overwhelm the viewer. So I thought, you know, especially in the coaching and the wellness industries, the approach behind your business is so important. And that's really something that you want to communicate to prospective clients, to communicate to the world. So that's why I designed this approach canvas that allows you to, um, to dive deep into different aspects of your business, of what makes your product different, what makes your service different, that you can highlight each of these in the different canvas views without having one huge long scrolling page. And also the interactive element is, is fun for the viewer, you know, they can enjoy clicking through and they feel more involved in the process. To start editing a canvas view, I'm just going to come over here to the left under approach. You'll see this represents the, the whole canvas. And here are all the elements inside that canvas. So I'm going to start with view one. And all you need to do is just click, double click into the text box, and then you can change the text. 
you can also change the line and this is only going to affect the line within that canvas view. So I'm going to change the text, I can change the description, and I can change the photo as well. Now to change the photo I'm just going to double click and that's going to open up my media library where I can search all the photos that I've already uploaded into my Show It account. Now if you have a photo that is not uploaded yet, you can do that in the bottom left corner, Upload Files. I'm just going to take a new photo, let's take this one. So there I've, I've changed the photo. So that has changed view one. Now keep in mind, if you're going to change the categories um, here below, you're going to need to change them in every canvas view. So uh, let me just add change number two change number three, and so on and so forth. So you make all of your changes here in view one, and then if you click to view two, you'll see that these change back. So you, if you're changing the categories, you'll need to change the names in each view. And then here I can change and add a, a different description, and I can add a different photo. So you'll need to do this for each view that you have. Now this layout is designed so that you can easily come in and just plug in your own photos, plug in your own text, and that you don't have to do a lot of rearranging. But if you did want to make some changes, let's say you wanted to resize this photo. Um, let's make it a little bit more square. Maybe you wanted to bump it up to the top or drop it to the bottom. You can just click and drag and resize however you like. That's the beauty of Show It. It's a drag and drop type of platform so you have a lot of creative freedom to really build the site like you like you want to build it. Now that said, let's say we want to make some really drastic changes. Let's say we're only going to need three views and we really want to space them out a lot more and let's say we want to add another photo just come in and grab one and we want to resize that and put it over here. All of that is perfectly fine. Just keep in mind that every change that you make you're going to need to make in every view. So if you're making a lot of changes it's a lot easier to just make everything in view one and delete these others so if you click on a view and you click on the three dots to the right, you have the option to rename it, to duplicate it, or to delete it. So if you're making drastic changes, I recommend that you just delete the other canvas views. And then once your view one is ready and the way that you want it, then duplicate this view. So then you make multiple copies of this new layout and then you can go back in and add your, your specific changes. Now one tip, and I've made this mistake many times, is don't forget to adjust the desktop version of View 1 as well as the mobile version. I can't tell you how many times I've been working on a canvas view and I love my new desktop version and then I start duplicating it and I don't realize that, that I forgot to edit the mobile version. So do yourself a favor and really take your time when you're setting up your first view and make sure that everything is, is in place and exactly how you want it before you start duplicating it. For this next bit I'm going to go back to the original layout. So we were in the, the sample tutorial duplicate page. I'm going to go to the original about page. Now this is the original layout. Now part of the magic in the canvas views is in the click actions that you set. So that's the interactive part and how the user will navigate through this section of your website. So when I select one of my categories and I've um, faded some out here so that it's understood that you could click and, and hover over and it's going to show different information. But what I want to mention here is on the right side you'll see a category called click actions. Now this is really important. 
So you want to make sure that all of your categories or all of your main, um, yeah, the areas where the people are going to click, that those click action actions are all correct. So um, this should be set to canvas, this canvas, and then you can select what the view should be. Now, something simple like an arrow that's going to show the next or the previous, you can also choose that here. But in this case, I want it to always show view one. Um, let me give you an example. So let's go to the preview. And I'll just scroll down to this section. So now I know that if I'm clicking here, it's always going to show me view one with this description and this photo, for example. But I can also hover over the others, and each one is set to their own view. So this is the second category, it's set to view two, and view three, and so on. So let's go back and to show it. You can see that all of those click actions are set in this panel here. And if you want to change the hover, you can do that here. If you go down just a little bit, you'll see a category called hover. Now mine is set to the page default. You can also change and, and do your own custom, or you can change the page def default. So to do that, I just um, need to come over here to page and click on about. Now I'm not, I haven't selected any specific canvas, I'm on the page itself. So this is where I can go down to animation and set the default hover. So this is the default hover that I'm using throughout this page. And then in, inside the canvas I can select that for each item. Now let's talk a little bit about canvas views on the mobile device. Now on the desktop you can you can do a lot more because you have more space to work with so things display a lot nicer. For example you can see all of these categories very easily on the desktop but on the mobile device you have less space and that's also the beauty of Show It is that you can customize the mobile experience separate from the desktop. So I've done this a couple of different ways. Uh, on the about page you can see that I only show one view at a time and instead of showing all the different categories I invite the the viewer to uh, click here to see next or the arrow and I've had this set to my click action here to next and I also chose to select scroll to canvas where I didn't select that for the desktop version because the view the viewers already seeing the whole the whole picture the whole canvas is on their screen because there's more space but on the mobile device um, let me just go into the preview so you can get a feel for that so this is the mobile preview and as I go down I'll see here's our canvas view our approach so now I've passed this picture I see this category and if I'm going to see next or I want to learn more, it's going to scroll back up and show me the new photo. It's going to show me the new, new category and the new description. And this will then show the third view and so on. Another way that I've organized the canvas views on a mobile device in this template is seen in the coaching page. So I'm just going to scroll down here. Now in this on this page I have included all the different categories whereas the desktop version is set up very similar to the about page with the different categories on the left and the description on the right but in the mobile version let me just zoom in a little bit I have um, the category title and then a little icon to indicate that you can open it up and, and it will drop down and then a description that will appear below. Now this is set to um, hidden to start. You'll see that here on the right side. So this is hidden to start and each, let's go to the page so you can see this more clearly. So each uh, category and each description are their own canvas. So if I click in here, this is a little bit more of a detailed setup 
But sometimes this works really well, especially for like FAQs and that sort of thing, so that you can get an overview on the mobile device without having to scroll, you know, scroll the whole time. They can quickly see uh, a category or a question that they want to click on to get the answer to. So this is named Mobile Services 1. So that's the first category. And you'll notice that the click actions are set to show the second view. So there's two views. One is the open view and one is the closed view. Now this um, it pertains particularly to the icon here. So if I go to view two, you'll see that I've changed the color and I've changed the direction that the little arrow is pointing in the second view. And the click action will open up this description or it will close it. So for example, I'm in view one of my category title and it's set to when I click it, it will show view two. So it will show that that little arrow has opened up and it's changed colors. And it will also show this canvas. It will show description one. So that's a separate canvas. Now let me show you what this looks like um, live. This is the mobile view. So as I scroll down, you'll see all of the um, different services. Now you, you can customize this depending upon your brand and what you offer. So this can be different services that you offer or this can be um, different aspects of one package, different benefits of one service, if you will. So here you see I have a certain hover set and if I click it, it will change to the view two with the arrow that's pointing down, but it also opens up this description. And likewise, if I click again here or on the little arrow, it will close it. So that's how these will function. So again, the magic is in the click actions. As a reminder, these categories have two views. The first view is set to show the second view and show the description, whereas the second view will go back to the first view if you click it and it will hide the description. So that's how you can open and close the different details for each category or each question if it's for an FAQ. So that concludes my tutorial on Canvas Views inside of Show It. I hope you've found this helpful and of course if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out. I look forward to seeing what you create with this template. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get more tutorials like this. And if you'd like to try this template, I've included a link in the description below. Have a wonderful day!